Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. So I love partnerships. Yes, I love partnerships. I love everything about partnerships. When they asked me, how are you able to rebuild back your million dollar business? How are you able to grow so quickly? How are you able to, right? They always want the one thing. Now, y'all all know it's never one thing, okay? But there is one way of doing things that definitely changed the game for me. And it was using partnerships to grow. Now, all transparency, y'all know I've been working on the new book, Million Dollar Partnerships. And every time I look back at who my new friends are, um, who are the most important people in my life, who has been consistent, it's been partnerships that I've created with different businesses over the years um, that helped me re back, rebuild back my telephone company. So even with that, I was able to, to not have to go get a new carrier bill because I had a partnership in mind, a friendship that was already working, a guy that I had already sold a business to that had a carrier account. And so I didn't have to go get my own. I could just jump on his because, you know, once you kind of owe them $3 million, they don't want to put you back on the service, right? Um, so I was able to navigate partnerships to grow, to grow my business, to grow my customer base, and to do everything that I needed to grow very quickly. So um, this live is all about how I got booked to speak at an event in front of 4,000 plus people. And it was all just an organic partnership that happened. So today, earlier, I was talking to uh, my good friend, Alex Carmelli. Uh, if you are ever struggling on how to do live video, which she inspired me today to get back to doing live with y'all, um, you need to hook up with her. She's got a $9 program a month that is just bananas. Uh, Alex Carmelli, it's called um, Unscripted Moments. <laughs> I'm like, but well, sometimes my unscripted moments are a little bit too unscripted. And so we giggled about that today. Um, she's one of the partners that's gonna be featured in Million Dollar Partnerships in the book. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, but with that, how in the world, you know, did she lead me to getting booked on this summit that's got over 4,000 people, right? Uh, didn't have to apply, didn't have to go through the thing. It was a phone call. Right? That's what I love about partnerships. They take you to the front of the list. Like, what do you have in place in your business that takes your business to the front of the list? And so why they would choose you over anybody else. So, you know, how did I meet this person? Did I reach out to her? You know, what happened? right? Um, I talk about my five favorite places to meet potential partners. And one of them is at an, at another event. So, yep, I was at another event. Uh, we met over breakfast, right? The hotel gave free breakfast. So we're down there over eggs. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I'm here for the event. Oh, I am too. That's what she said. Okay, great. <laughs> You want to sit right here? Yes. So we sat at a table with, there was probably eight other people um, sitting there just chit-chatting about what the day was going to be. And we just genuinely connected about, you know, hey, what do you do? And so she told me what she did. I asked her lots of questions. Um, she was excited to tell me about her business, of course. But it was just us connecting as people. So people ask me all the time, you know, how do I get partnerships to, to build my million dollar empire? Well, number one is you have to be a good person that they want to connect with. Right? So there were people at the event that I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> but her, we actually sat down, we chatted, we talked about life. We talked about other things other than business and we found our commonalities. And then throughout the weekend, we laughed, we giggled, we talked about our insights, we talked about how we were gonna use all of these things in our business. Um, and then she introduced me, right? She said, you know, you are amazing and you would be great at this event. I sponsor it every year. 
another partnership, right? So she's already partnership minded. She said, I sponsor it every year. And I think this would be a great place for you to come um, and be on this event because I know that once they hear you, once they hear about partnerships, that it would be great for them. So then she did an email introduction. By the end of the week, boom, 4,000 people that I'm going to be talking to in two weeks. Easy breezy. So how do you get access? How can you take the same framework, yes, and use it in your own business? Well, first of all, the reason why it was easy for Alex to refer me is number one, I'm very clear about what I do, right? I help six-figure entrepreneurs get to seven figures using partnerships. Very, very easy, right? So um, often I will get, Rochelle, I want the advanced strategies. And then I'll say, well, what do you do? Let's talk about advanced strategies of how we can really get you there quickly. And you know what the response is? I do a lot of things. You know, yesterday I got an inquiry of someone asking for help, right? So just so you know, if you send us um, a direct message, an email, anything asking for help, I definitely review them all. Uh, my, my assistant does too, though, because we do get a lot. But I review them all and we jump in to help as best as we can so that we can at least get you to that next step, right? Um, and sometimes it's we jump on the phone with you and we fix it right there. Right? But so let's go back to this person who said, uh, tell me more. Tell me more about this partnership because I would love to get partnerships. We asked her, what's her biggest challenge? She said, consistent income. It's like, okay. Okay, well, where are you at? So she told us the number. Okay, perfect. So now, you know, I jump in to, to see where I can help. I get to her Instagram and I get to her link tree and literally I had to scroll on her link tree. There were six different affiliate offers and I never figured out what was her business. So if I'm a partner and I want to partner with you, how am I supposed to open up my customer base to you if I don't know exactly what you do? If I'm confused by what you do, if you're going all over, so this multiple streams of income, like you're, all that tells me is that you're not making any money, truthfully. Because when you have one stream of income that's making a ton of money, you don't have multiple. Yeah. You have, you have multiple after this one's doing really, 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 really well. And it's all over the place. Then you add complementary businesses to it. But sometimes I think we're trying to do it too soon. Yes. Um, instead of get this one secured, put go all in on the first business, and then we'll add the others to it. So the reason why it was easy for Alex to be able to refer me is that number one, I, it's very clear what I do. It's very easy for me to refer Alex, which I've done. I've done twice since then. It's because it's very clear what she does, right? She helps you on video get more eyeballs and sell your offers, whatever those offers are, whether they be a $25 offer or a $25,000 offer. She uses these strategies to get you more clients. Fun, fun, fun. Very, very easy. As I said, so do you have it? Is it easy? If it's easy, send it to me. I'll review it for free. I'll send it back if I think there needs to be any changes. But the, the challenge is not the one that's written on your website. It's the one that, that comes out of your mouth. The one when you're talking to people. The one, is it easy for you to say? Is it easy for people to understand what you do? And then once you get online, especially in this space, you got three minutes. Right? You got three good minutes for people to figure out, okay, who are you? Sometimes it's three seconds. So if you can't articulate exactly what you do, you're making it harder and harder and harder and harder for people to do business with you. So I'd love for you to, to figure that out and wrap it up. As a matter of fact, on Friday, we're doing free Friday workshops. 
<laughs> and we've been working on just this right here. So I'm there live with um, several other folks just like you, entrepreneurs, who are like, help me get this straight, Rochelle. So we're figuring out how you can become a trusted authority in your area, <laughs> right? So that people will pick you for whatever it is that you're an expert in. So on there we have um, one that's an expert in, in finding property managers bids, so that's what she does. Uh, we have a, a college professor who's great at reading, that's what she does. Um, we have a financial planner, uh, an accountant, a, um, a natural oil specialist that she creates them herself, not, not the MLM. So she's on there. Um, Joan, what does Joan do? Joan is a, uh, a, a promotional product. So that's a highly commoditized business, right? So Dan Kennedy, if you guys all know Dan Kennedy, uh, he was my first mentor. And he said, you know, Rochelle took a highly commoditized business and made it non-commoditized, right? In telephone service. It's just something that everybody gets. And I took it and I and I molded it into a way that it was unique and it was custom for my audience, which was called Fresh Star Telephone, right? So here's the way that you wanna make sure that people know exactly what you do. So please come to the free Friday workshop. If you'd like the link to it, say, hey, Rochelle, and we'll go ahead and send that out to you. Um, but it's really figuring out like you are the authority, how you make sure that you are the authority, how you get booked to speak in front of 4,000 people, right? How you get um, uh, clients coming to you that cost you nothing, nothing, but just you being at the right place at the right time. So um, one of the things that, that I definitely know is, is what to say, <laughs> how to say it to them, how to get them excited. Right? And so I've got all those frameworks in a nice little package that, that we can help you out with too. So, okay, let's go down through and just check it so that you can write down for your notes, right? So the first thing is I was just authentic, I was just me. So she just met me. Number two, even if you are going to approach a potential partner, be genuinely interested in their business. I was genuinely interested in what exactly she did so that when she told me, I was both intrigued, but secondly, I couldn't wait to share with her a couple of tips and she loved it, right? So I start with a giving heart. I don't start with a taking heart. What can you do for me, right, in, in business? you will go out of business with what can you do. You start with a giving heart and be able to give to her in the process. That's the second thing. The third thing is I made it very, very clear what exactly I do. I never had to ask. After I gave her, the reciprocity sinks in. The law of reciprocity sinks in. So if you start with giving, then they think, well, how can I, how can I help you? What can I do? I was like, I don't know. She goes, you know what? I think you'd be great speaking at this event. You know, are you open those dates? Oh my gosh. Right. So let me check the dates. I was open those particular dates and she said, perfect. I'm going to do the introduction for you. Done. Right. Done. Done. So hopefully today you get it. Today you understand how it all works. Um, Wednesdays are always my flex days of days where I can just give you content and share with you everything um, that we know. If you'd like to deep go deeper and further, then come to our Friday workshop. What I'll do is in that first comment over there, I will put it there so that you will have the link to sign up for our Friday workshop. And I'd love to see you there so that we can jam a little bit, right? So I can genuinely find out about your business. And then lastly, so that I can help you set it up so that people are coming to you. That's what marketing is. Sales is you going to them, but marketing is people coming to you. I like it so much better when they come to me. And then I can decide yes or no. That's when the fun and the magic happens. Okay, I love y'all for free. Uh, I will see you soon, hopefully on Friday. All right, uh, Friday afternoon, uh, two o'clock Eastern, 11 o'clock Pacific, because I. Let's be honest, you ain't working on Friday. So you might as well come on, work on your business, and we'll have some fun together. All right, hey, have a good one.